Uh, where are we gonna ba build this hospital? We're gonna have to build this hospital. Uh, oh shit, look, they've finally done it. Look, they finally brought everything that we need here. There's some stone arriving and some iron arriving at the scene of the crime and this blacksmith should finally, at long last, be built. Uh, we have a spare laborer to fill the role of blacksmith uh, so that we can get on top of this tool situation. How big is the hospital? How big is this hospital? Is it pretty big? No, it's not. It's only tiny. Look at it. It's like really small. Okay. It kind of almost perfectly lines up with the church. Uh, almost. Okay, so one in from the church means that we can make another graveyard there, uh, which we need, unfortunately. We're going to have this graveyard. Is that going to work? Uh, we can always knock it down if we need to. This is going to be a fucking big one. Uh, it's way too large, apparently. We want it to be like that big. Holy crap, look at how big this is going to be. I mean, this is going to be the posh part of town. And, of course, um, I mean, Gravy is probably going to spend a lot of time here, too. Because, um, wow, this is going to be the big kahuna of cemeteries. Can we make it, like, 18 by 8? Whoa. Oh, look at this. That boarding house is going to have a nice spooky view of this massive cemetery, which is going to cost us 72 stone to build. Totally worth it, in my opinion. There we go. <laughs> Fucking biggest cemetery you've ever seen in your goddamn life. All right. Perfect. And then we've got, like, this little babby one here, which only has space for six more people. Uh, and surprisingly, that space will get taken up very quickly. Uh, all right. Uh, so we want to rotate the crops now. We have cabbage there. Let us get... Once they've picked all this stuff out, we'll change these ones to squash and this one to potato and see how that does for us. All right. It's all picked. This can be a potato one now, uh, and these ones can become squash. We're going to load up in a massive way on squash. Uh, don't ask me why. I don't even like squash, but we're just going to do it anyway. All right, our fields are uh, working. How's this doing? Any change? No, there's no change uh, on the orchard, the chestnut orchard. That's fine. And... Uh, Oh, finally! Look at this! This pasture is finally complete! It didn't take too long in the end! Let's get some sheep in here! Hooray! Our two sheep are finally in here, and uh, I think we're missing some... Uh, not farmers, but... Uh, what are they? Herdsmen! We need two herdsmen. Great. We now have two herdsmen. Fantastic. Uh, those two sheep should live in holy matrimony inside this pasture and produce even more sheep. And... Uh, what's very nice about the sheep is that we can uh, not only get a, a supply of meat uh, in the form of uh, lamb chops, but we can also get uh, some wool, which we can then use to make even better coats in Sipsburg, if you can fucking believe that. And they're probably going to sell for a lot more than just the crappy leather ones, which is great. A steady supply, uh, so that hopefully we can hang on to the leather for other stuff, uh, which is nice. Uh, is this almost done? Yes, finally. At long fucking last, this blacksmith is almost complete. Our four builders are working so goddamn hard, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, we have some spare laborers, so we can have an extra forester, which is nice. Uh, we probably need some more miners before long as well. Uh, and our last laborer will become the second blacksmith of the town. Uh, because look at everybody is out of tools and it's becoming embarrassing. If any merchants or traders turn up uh, to visit, they're just going to be laughing at all these people manually doing everything with their bare hands, uh, you know, like including like farming tasks, uh, mining, and uh, and also fishing. Uh, if you can believe that, I, I don't know how you feel. I mean, unless you're a bear, uh, you can fish with your bare hands. Get it? Uh, but uh, there's there's no other way. Um, that, that you can fish with, with your hands. Uh, like I said, unless you're a bear. Um, okay, cemetery is... Everything's cleared. Uh, they just have to bring in the massive amount of stone required to build the cemetery. Uh, and then it's going to take 72 men building points uh, to have this complete. Oh, shit. This might be the time. This might be it. Just in time, this could be uh, the, the point that we get some sort of fruit seed so that we can make another orchard and start brewing some fine, fresh, ripping ales. Who is it? Who's here? It's Yoland. Yoland. Where the fuck are the other people that we put orders in for? We don't want your plums. We don't want your beef. We don't want your chestnuts. We don't want your apples. And we don't want your fish. However, having said that, maybe we could just buy a bunch of apples here and use them um, straight away uh, to make some apple cider. 
uh, to make everybody very happy. Look at this. He, um, Yoland is, of course, some sort of Satan worshipper and insists on only carrying uh, 666 uh, items of, of each uh, brand of product that he carries, which is offensive, Yoland. I mean, we have a church over there, and there's like 88 members who are all sitting there with their mouths wide open, staring at you in fear because you've turned up with your crazy ideas on, on how to run an inventory and it's not good enough. All right, 666, no problem. Uh, what's this? 600 and uh, these are worth 15. Uh, we're gonna have to probably say, let's have, uh, oh shit, whoops, not that. We want 660, uh, I don't, there's one, I don't want six apples. I want 660 apples. Okay, we've traded 44 coats for 660 apples to Yoland. And Yoland, if you are coming back, don't fucking bring us anything because uh, all you've got is just a bunch of bunk shit that we don't want. Okay, fine. Let's do this trade, Yoland, and get out of here. Bye. Ne never come back, please. Great. We can make apple ale. We now have apples on s on hand to make apple ale. Uh, we can afford to actually have somebody working in the tavern now, too. Uh, a brewer. Come on, brewer. Who's it going to be? Who's the brewer? It's Kaiman. Kaiman's back, everybody. He's been resurrected uh, from the dead to become the first brewer and tavern keeper of Sipsburg. What an exciting time. Uh, he's going to find some apples, hopefully, uh, which haven't been uh, taken by the local populace. Everybody is clamoring to get their hands on the fruit. They're sick of vegetables. They're sick of meat. All they want is a succulent piece of fruit, and they can't have one because nobody is willing to bring seeds back and trade them to us, even though we got mad goods here. It's got to be said, there's a lot of really cool stuff to be had here, and um, now I'm going to check to see if we have any wool on hand. Has, uh, has there been any action down here? Has anyone done anything? No, there's still two sheep. Are these sheep going to reproduce more sheep? It probably will happen. Pasture? Nothing's happened. It looks like these people have only just turned up and are clearing all the shit out of the pasture. Which is a good thing, actually. It needs to be done. Oh, look at this! The Grand Cemetery, host of 128 graves. Old Gravy, of course, in his uh, usual stop stomping ground here. 50 out of 55 graves. Uh, Old Gravy can't be in two places at once. Uh, so he's going to have to rely on his cousin, Old Toomey, <laughs> to run this even bigger graveyard uh, on behalf of him and the um, souls of Sipsburg. So there we go. We now have two uh, legendary mythical um, villains uh, to add to the lore of Sipsburg and to use to scare our children into doing all sorts of shit that they they wouldn't normally want to do but it's stuff that they realistically have to do such as brushing their teeth uh, going to school um, putting your pants on before you go outside these are all things that you have to fight with your children to do on a daily basis uh, in order for them to just be able to function in normal society. Um, because if you don't get them to do that kind of stuff, obviously they then grow up to be like me uh, and are not welcome in society as a result. And, uh, and it all goes downhill from there. Okay, great. It looks like we're making ale out of apples in the tavern. This is very exciting. Uh, the people of Sipsburg were already infinitely happy because of the church. Now... They're so happy that they're about to burst uh, because we're now offering them alcohol as well, which is crazy. I meant to make a quarry about half an hour ago. I haven't even fucking bothered because I got way too sidetracked making all this other cool stuff instead. Uh, and now it is time to make a hospital. And will it fit in here perfectly? Yes, it will. Look at that. How nice. What a quaint little town square here with a hospital and a massive graveyard. We can have some nice stone houses in the back here. We'll have a nice road that comes down here. God, I'm getting so excited. I fucking love all this. this is, these are the best kind of games for me. I really do love a city building game, uh, and this is no exception. Uh, Gearliga, the forester, has died of old age. Damaria has nobly replaced Gear Liga as a forester straight away. And look at this, our two builders already assigned, ready to go. Uh, look, we're missing a farmer. 
Uh, luckily, I've got eagle eyes. I can get all over this straight away. The labor pool is uh, running short. Um, the two builders are over here already building this hospital. This is going to be pretty exciting. It means that uh, I think we can get nomads into the town if they ever decide that they want to come. And we don't need to worry about any outlandish diseases that they carry and uh, spread like a plague throughout the rest of uh, Sipsil. Uh, finally, we are on top of the tool situation. We have two blacksmiths working very hard, creating many tools. Uh, let us increase this now to 150 so that they can make even more tools. Uh, we don't need to sell any tools because we're already selling a bunch of good stuff. And there's, no, there's still no sheep babbies. There's no little babby lambs in there uh, still uh, yet, unfortunately. That's okay, though. They'll come. Uh, let's get a well uh, built down here, too. We're going to get a little well built uh, just off the side here. Uh, can we rotate? Yeah, okay, that's nice. We're going to get it right in here, right next to the church, next to the boarding house, in case a fire breaks out down here and we need to respond to it quickly. Uh, it, it will have a well there, hopefully, because this is like the... This is like the pimped part of the city, the, the town. And uh, if, it, if it starts to burn down, well, these people don't have a hope. Because all the central administration will go. Holy shit! We've done it! It's just, oh, happy gravy time, everybody! We're, we're doing it! Look at, look at the yield of chestnuts! We're going to be able to slowly roast them on an open fire! Just in time, too! Look at this! Uh, winter is approaching. Uh, of course, winter is the perfect season to roast chestnuts on an open fire. Uh, and then followed by spring, when it is indeed happy gravy time. Old gravy will come out of the graveyard. Uh, doing the moonwalk and the thriller dance down the streets looking for his uh, open fire roasted chestnuts uh, to be uh, presented to him on the road so that he can pick them up and uh, he's not even going to share with his cousin Old Toomey. Old Toomey is not into chestnuts. Uh, I think he likes other stuff but I'm not sure uh, what other stuff he likes now. Wow, I can't believe it. I can't believe we've done it. We've actually got uh, some chestnuts. That is great. Once the hospital is done, we can start making the other pasture over here, the chicken racing grounds, uh, to go next to the tavern. And then if a merchant ever turns up with chickens, we will buy them promptly, house them in there, and the people of Sipsburg uh, will have not only just a five-star happiness rating, but a one-million-star happiness rating. Because who doesn't like watching chickens running around like a bunch of crazed animals uh, after each other, looking for corn, having a race. People can bet potatoes and squash and all sorts of outlandish stuff on the races. And then when they're done, they can go here and wet their whistles in the tavern that only has three beers left because we've blasted through our entire supply of apples. What do you, what do you think of that? Anyone? No? Uh, La Maria, Luana Mary, and uh, uh, no, that's it. Those two have become students. And it looks like Sharon's Aminti and Reddy uh, have been... Oh, no, sorry. Reddy has become a student. Sharence and Aminti uh, were both born. We now only have 11 babies, 15 students, and 65 adults. Holy shit, the labor pool is about to get uh, a lot of a massive influx, like 15 students. Uh, we need to make some more houses. We need to be thinking about uh, constantly upgrading more houses. Also, it looks like our supply of stone is almost completely used up and uh, I don't know if we actually need stone to make a quarry but we should probably think about making a quarry uh, before we completely run out of stone and, and arrive in a situation where we can't actually get any more stone. Fine. Quarry's next then. Uh, we're gonna build it back here. Oh look at this! We're gonna build a quarry right next to this trading port uh, and hopefully that's not gonna look too bad. It's not gonna be too much of an eyesore. It's sort of out of the way back here anyway. Um, if we build it like here, we might be able to get another quarry right next to it when it runs out of stone. Although the chicken racing grounds are going to be right there. And actually, no. Let's put the quarry right here next to the trading port. Uh, and then we can have uh, the chicken racing grounds next to it. Okay, fine. Quarry. We're going to make a quarry. Thanks for watching part 23 of Banished. We finally got a quarry down. And we also met uh, Yoland, who is in fact Satan and tried to sell us plums. See you next time!